Hi, Dan Delgado here again for Voices of Calm. Today I figured I would change things up a little bit, and instead of reading poetry or a short story or an excerpt from literature, I thought I might delve into something else that I am an expert in. Dad jokes. Well, some of my classes really enjoy hearing these. And they're like, Mr. Delgado, Mr. Delgado, can we hear another dad joke? Because I guess they just enjoy the corniness. Some of my classes loathe these, and so you'll get to decide for your own. But before I begin, a little warning. You are watching this video of your own volition. So I am not responsible for any pain caused by eye rolling or swelling of cheeks from laughter that may occur. So listen, if you don't want to hurt your eyes, rolling them ferociously as you very well may, move on from this video now. But if you stay with me, get ready for the corn. Let's start off with this one here. Why couldn't the lifeguard save the hippie? He was too far out, man. <laughs> I, uh, I told you. All right. I've got a twofer on this page here. Why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. <laughs> I know, that was bad. Get ready for worse. Here we are. These are some of the best of the worst. As you can see, I filtered through some of them. I'm considering a job cleaning mirrors. It's something I can really see myself doing. Okay. <laughs> Move on to another one here. A man was walking down the street and saw a sign in a store window that said, Help Wanted. He ran in the store and yelled, What's wrong? <laughs> Sorry. These are the best of the worst. This one here is for a friend of mine who actually happens to be a psychology professor. My book on reverse psychology was just published. Don't read it. <laughs> Alrighty. Where is this one here? Um, Alright. Monica is obsessed with monorails. All she ever talks about is monorails. Especially how amazing it is that they zip along on just that single rail. <sighs> She's got a one-track mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but not really. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to go to that one next. All right, go to this one. Here we go. My mother told me I would never amount to anything. I told her, just wait. <laughs> Sorry, that one really strikes home. True to the heart there. All right, um, another one. This one I actually really like. A screwdriver walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, we have a drink named after you. Really? The screwdriver replies, surprised. You have a drink named Steve? <laughs> Wait for it. There you go. You might have just gotten it. <laughs> okay. This is what I actually like. Did you hear about the mime fight? It was unspeakable. <laughs> All right. True story. My wife actually, as I was going through these this morning, she says... Do you really find those things funny? I said, uh, dad jokes, duh. So, yeah. And since this is something I typically do with my classes, I'm just gonna randomly flip to a page and randomly touch a joke. And here we go, land on this one right here. My wife is on a tropical food diet. The house is full of the stuff. It's enough, and it's enough to make a mango crazy. <laughs> Ah, oh, random awesomeness from this book. If I get a chance, I'll display the title of this book. I requested permission from the uh, from the company, the publisher, but as of yet, they haven't replied. So <laughs> I would like to give them credit for these, but uh, you can easily find a bunch of these online. Um, 
I'll be coming back with installments from different sections of the book. And, uh, again, enjoy or not at your own discretion. Bye now.